How to properly set up your WordPress blog to accept comments. I know it looks easy. All you have to do is click a few checkboxes and you're done. But it isn't quite that easy to do if you do it right. In fact, I hope my experience will save you some pain because I really got hurt by some spammers. Now if you stop watching this video right now, at least go into your WordPress blog in the setup section and make sure that you've got check marked never allow comments to show without administrative review. If you want to stick around we'll get into some details. Okay first thing we do is we go to any one of the pages and you'll see you have a place called settings. You click on settings and look in the section where it says membership. You want anyone can register. The new user default role is contributor, not author. Author has some privileges that you don't want to grant. Then you go down here and you save your changes. We're still within settings, but we're going to go to discussion. We want to attempt to notify any blogs linked from the article. It slows down posting, but that's okay. We want to tell people we link to them. And certainly we want the next box checked because we want link notifications from other blogs that would be pingbacks and trackbacks to our blog. That's very important. And we want to allow people to post comments on the article. Email me when anyone posts a comment and tell me when the comment is held for moderation. You want to be really quick in res responding. Before a comment appears, an administrator must always approve the comment. Let me tell you a story of what happened to me. I didn't have this checked. I also had the contributor setting to author. I came to my blog one day and I could not believe what I saw. This is the worst pornography that you can imagine on my site. I deleted it immediately but I didn't know how it got there. I couldn't figure it out. Of course this was a year ago. Now I certainly know. And how it happened is they would first come in and register as an author and they didn't leave a post, they didn't leave a, leave a comment, they just registered. Probably done by robot. Then they came back later and then they were able to post their trash. If you do this they won't be able to do that. I like to have the comment author fill out his name and his email because I want to be able to get back to that person. Most often I will check him out to see if there's a blog and if they accept comments. Because one of the things that you want to do that will make more comments come to you is go to other people's blogs and return the favor. Okay, The next thing you want to do is you want to click comments and you'll see that a kismet if that's how you pronounce it. Spam has found seven. Now I didn't used to check those. They would, the number would get really large. But then recently I've realized that many times there's a mistake. And it's a great post that doesn't get it looks like spam. So I, I would go in and they will approve those. So anyway in summary Google likes comments. They use that as one of their major indicators to see if you are the hub of the wheel. Are people reading your articles and commenting on them? If they are, Google gives you more weight. By the way, it's fun and you'll learn a lot just by the comments people give you and it's fun to comment back. All in all, you will over time build a community of friends friends whose sites you like, people that you get to know, and it's something that you need to do. Very important. So I hope that helped. This is Rich Day at TrafficBumper.com.